What's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Ask DeFranco's Gym. Before I get started with today's question, I just want to thank everybody for the overwhelmingly positive feedback I got on um, my last video where I talked about my, my top five business lessons or rules for success when owning and operating your own garage or warehouse gym business. I got a ton of feedback, positive feedback. It means a lot. And I'm really glad I was able to help some some people out and steer them in the right direction. Now, today's question is kind of directly dovetails off of that last question, and I'm, I'm glad it got brought up. I got a couple emails from some personal trainers and strength coaches that said, I'm, I'm a, a college strength and conditioning coach. A uh, couple guys were personal trainers at, at local health clubs, and they said, we saw your last video. We loved it but we have no aspirations of ever owning our own gym. We just want to be great coaches or we want to be great personal trainers. What's some rules of, of or what's some advice you have for young personal trainers, young strength coaches getting into the business um, to steer us in the right direction? This question I like even more because I'm more passionate about the training than I am about the business aspect of running my business. So I could tell you right now, this one's a lot easier for me to answer. And there's only two rules, and they're simple and to the point. Number one, first and foremost, you got to love what you do. You have to love training athletes or, or training clients. You need to love the, the science and the art of personal training or um, you know coaching. If you do not love it, get out of the business right now because it is not a business that you're going to get rich quick. You may never get rich. It's something that you have to have a genuine love for because it is a grind. It's not a, uh, you know, a business that you could work two or three hour days, have weekends off, take a lot of vacations. It's definitely a grind. So if you don't love it, you're not going to last. Um, so make sure you, you have that passion and you have that love before you get into this business. Going along the same lines with that, you don't only have to love the, the training aspect of it, you need to love and care, have a genuine care about your clients. I, I see so many coaches and trainers that just don't give a shit about their clients. If it doesn't truly make you feel good when they do good and also you know, truly hurt if, if they have a bad day or you know, they have a bad game, you know, if, if that stuff doesn't really hit your heart, you're in the wrong business, all right? I mean, I could tell you I've been doing this professionally, tr been training athletes as a career for over 16 years now, and to this day, um, an example would be watching watching the Jets-Texans game last year when I watched Brian Cushing take that hit to his knee. I mean, I literally felt like I was going to throw up. I mean, sick to my stomach because, you know, it, he's he's not just a client. That's That's family at this point. This is... This is a guy that you know I've known since high school. If you don't, if you don't genuinely care about you know the well-being of the of of your clients, you, you're not going to put that effort into it when you're training them. And, you know, and and there's the ups and downs. That was that was an example of some of the downs. But then you have you know the ups are are amazing. I, I to this day I could vividly remember eating. Uh, spaghetti and meatballs at my grandmother's house at Sunday dinner at my grandmother's about seven years ago when I got the call from Miles Austin that uh, Bill Parcells just called him and he just signed a contract with the Dallas Cowboys. Not many things are going to make me put my grandmother's turkey meatballs down, but that was a day that I could remember like it was yesterday. Literally had to hold back tears. So happy because I got to know him personally. It, it wasn't about, you know, having a, a guy on your resume that, that made the NFL. It's a true caring about a, a, a human being that you got to know and develop a relationship with and, and see succeed. And that far outweighs any amount of money you will ever make in this business. So if you don't have that, or if you need me to tell you that, get out, get in another business right now. All right. That's number one. Number two, and all you young coaches and personal trainers, pay attention to this one because th this is something that is almost getting a little annoying to me. And, and I have, I have, I think I have a lot of patience, but Become a great trainer, become a great coach before you become a great marketer of yourself. Too many 21 and 22 year old kids are taking marketing courses and selling friggin' ebooks and DVDs before they ever trained anybody. 
Listen, there is only one chance to make a first impression. You put your first ebook out at 22 years old when you trained three clients, you, you know, three times each. You, you, lo you lost a guy like me forever. Ten years from now, if you really do develop yourself and you become, you know, an ed educated, real good coach, I'm still going to remember, oh, that was that kid that put that, you know, put that ebook out or he marketed himself as the, the world renowned trainer when he was 22 and had zero experience, zero real world knowledge. And um, it, it just shines through. And unfortunately, with the Internet, it's getting worse and worse. I see all these you know, shady marketing schemes and everybody's trying to hype themselves up. You, you know, you know, the only marketing I've ever done, I've never took a marketing class. I've never read a marketing book. I don't know if I should be proud of that. You know what my marketing is? I busted my ass. I engraved myself in studying training. I, 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 I read everything. I went to every seminar. I had every DVD. I talked to every coach I could possibly talk to. And I got really good at training athletes. And when I got results, they told people and then they came in and then their teammates came in and their teammates, teammates came in. And now we have a successful business where, you know, people say, oh, you market yourself well. The only marketing that takes place at the Franco's gym is our results. So um, remember those two rules. Very simple. Love what you do. Have passion. Love your clients and get great at being a trainer before you become a great marketer and you could be successful in this business. I hope that helped. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time.